welcome to BTR's Elite Partners podcast and blog series, where we invite our elite partners to share what they're doing with technology and benefits. Hey there, my name is Holly Brummett. I am Business Development Coordinator for BTR, as well as the co-host of the series. And hey, my co-host, Therese, is with us. Hey, Therese. Hi, Holly. Hi, everyone. I'm Therese Thomasek, and I am the Consulting Operations and Vendor Manager for BTR. And we're just so incredibly excited to bring awareness to the market about our elite carrier and vendor partners. Yeah, we are. Our partners are solid gold and they really sparkle in the market as far as what they do. Um, we're excited to work with them to make things better for our clients and uh, to really bring a lot of value to the market as far as uh, making benefits and technology work. Right. I mean, we have so many partners that are just so great in so many areas. And they just, you know, serve employers and employees in all types of industries across the U.S. Um, you know, HR technology and employee benefits can oftentimes be complicated and, and overwhelming, right? And here at BTR, we aim to not only simplify the experience, but also improve upon it with creative and customized solutions for employers everywhere. And that's where our great partners come in. Um, we're really part of this proud of this program. And today we're even more excited to feature Cornerstone on the podcast. Yeah, Cornerstone had so many great things to share this morning. Mike uh, was talking about some of the projects that they have and some of their ideology around making learning accessible to all humans, uh, all employees at every level and for every generation. And right. so it's really neat to see how they're doing that and how they're growing that. Um, so let's get into the conversation and hear from Mike at Cornerstone. All right. Happy Friday, everyone. Welcome to another episode of our Elite Partner Series. Today, we have with us Mike Siano from Cornerstone. Welcome to the podcast, Mike. We're so happy to have you join us here today. Uh, would you please introduce yourself and what you do? It is a real pleasure being here, Therese. Thank you so much. Uh, as you said, my name is Mike Siano. I'm part of Cornerstone's Thought Leadership and Advisory Services Group. And uh, on the uh, TLS group, as we call it, we, uh, we sit in this gray area between product marketing and sales where we bring our own experience plus a research-based approach to uh, help our customers be uh, successful in whatever it is that they're doing, whether it's strategic initiatives, building business cases, or really rethinking where the future of work is going to go. Thank you so much for sharing, Mike. That's really terrific. You know, um, as an HR consulting um, solution, you know, BTR feels a lot of questions from, from our network um, regarding the different solution providers that are out there and technology trends and things like that. Um, and one of the, the most fielded questions we get is, what do your partners specialize in? You know, what are they known for? So would you mind sharing what Cornerstone's claim to fame is? Sure, happy to. So Cornerstone's been a SaaS provider for talent management for almost, uh, actually a little over 20 years now. So we, uh, opened up the organization back in 1999. And uh, ever since then, we've been really focused on talent management, talent development holistically. So from learning management, performance management, recruiting, and everything in between that, that involves that life cycle. Our growth over the years has enabled us to support over 7,000 organizations and 90 million uh, individuals worldwide. Uh, our goal with all that is ultimately to help empower people to be the most extraordinary that they can be, whether it's at work or within the world itself. And we make, uh, we, we, our efforts really try to make sure that we make work a place that works for everybody uh, by unifying uh, both the people, the business and the technology to create an environment that really inspires growth, productivity and success for all. Yeah, that's terrific. I know digital learning, training and development is, is so important. Um, you know, the pandemic has created a lot of learning opportunities for retraining and training the workforce. And, you know, that work-based learning encourages employees to be more proactive um, and achieve their personal and professional goals. You know, how is Cornerstone helping employers prioritize virtual learning and development for their employees? Well, you brought up a really great point around COVID and how it really has changed kind of the world we're in now. And I, I don't think that's new news by any means, but it really has um, brought to light some of maybe of the gaps that we've had at the organization level and as well as from a, like a mental health and wellness level and how organizations are trying to support that. So the way Cornerstone is supporting that is early on in the pandemic, we initiated 
uh, worldwide support and something called uh, something we call Cornerstone Cares, which was free content available to pretty much anyone that would sign up for it, um, which could just help them on out with um, their, their mental well-being and helping them adjust to the new world that we were in. And that mentality has helped us lead to developing more and more content to help support organizations now as they support their employees. And our content is done so in ways that it's, uh, it's we, can, we have what we call nano or micro content, which is just short, very, very short snippets. Some of our content is just two, three minutes long at a time. So you can just really get in, learn that, that one topic that you need to, and then be done with it. Or longer, more engaging um, kind of stories throughout the content, which then you can dive into a topic a little bit more in depth and learn about that. And when you really think about someone's wellness, uh, this has been a topic for quite a while and something that I'm sure a lot of your, your uh, other customers are, are dealing with with uh, their benefits viewpoint of how they're trying to support a, a holistic benefits personnel is uh, wellness is around you know, the individual, excuse me, the individual, which is you know, emotional, psychological, physical. Then there's the environmental, which is the social, the occupational, and then the spatial aspect. So there are their surroundings. And then lastly, the contextual wellness, that's financial and spiritual. And so as employees are trying to support all of those aspects of someone's wellness, they need different tools and resources. And the way Cornerstone comes into play with that is we help support and educate both at the individual level and the global level as well for the organization. Wow. You, you know, you're, you hit a good point. You're absolutely right. Um, the pandemic pointed out a lot of holes that organizations have uh, as far as some of their efficiencies and some of their um, you know, how they, how they can repeat processes and that kind of thing, because it is difficult to be able to reach your whole, you, your whole company when not everybody's there, right? I completely and, agree. and, uh, so it, we are learning how to do things. We're learning how to work in a new way. Um, yeah. so with that in mind, can you talk more about, you know, with more and more people working remotely, what is Cornerstone doing to help employee employers, excuse me, what is Cornerstone doing to help employers connect with their employees and stay, keep them engaged? Great question. So um, as everyone shifted to remote work, it's about making sure you give them the tools and resources, but then the know-how as well to work remotely. Um, and that was something that we saw as a significant gap initially. So in 2020, uh, we started doing an analysis of all the content that was being taken and remote work was some of the largest spikes that we saw throughout 2020. And so the way Cornerstone helps with that is creating some of those connections and integrations to be able to connect the learning right in the flow of work that you already have going on. So if you're using some sort of so social networking tool to do like instant messaging, chat, video conferencing, things like that. Uh, you want to try to make sure that you can connect some of those learning opportunities, some of that content right within that tool. So as an example, if you were using some sort of chat tool and uh, you haven't been one-on-one -on -one with your manager during your weekly or bi-weekly check-in and your manager's like, hey, you know, let's work on your presentation skills. I, I saw some great content on that. Here's a, and they can serve it right on up within that tool. And so those integrations to connect people where they are can help them with that with that change. And exactly to your point, Holly, uh, it was kind of this relearning how to work. Now that you don't have someone sitting in the cubicle next to you that you can lean on over and ask them a question of, how do I do this in Excel or whatever the case yeah. is? So it's trying to serve up and eliminate those barriers that used to exist and trying to uh, make it a lot easier for people to get to the point that, or get to the answers that they're looking for. Sure. And, you know, I think it's fair to make uh, to make a point here um, about different generations in the workforce. Completely. How some people are learning new things and how other people are like, we've been doing this since high school, you know. <laughs> so yeah. I think that it's 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 valid to point out, you know, the different generations are are seeing these uh, these changes from different points of view. Yeah. And so what are you seeing in your in your side about that? You're, you're spot on and there's um, completely different perspectives to that. So the older generation might have some of those uh, social skills or communication skills that the younger generation maybe didn't develop as much because technology created a different way of communicating. 
Mm -hmm. um, so that in, interpersonal communication or kind of formal addressing of things that the older generations might be more comfortable doing, but then they, they might mm -hmm. lack in some of the technology, whereas it might be vice versa as well. And so we make sure we try to support both realms of that. We actually have a full series of content called Digital Native uh, or DNA, which helps support some of the younger generation on some of those tidbits of how to give feedback or how to ask for help and things like that. So trying to make sure you address the generational differences as well. Yeah, good call out. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's neat that you guys are considering that too. So you've talked about some of the amazing technologies that you're coming up with to kind of bridge a lot of these gaps. Can you talk a little bit more um, about maybe what's on your roadmap uh, or do you have integrations with other systems? How, how are you making this, um, putting this in the hands of people who already have some of some technologies that are already in place? Great question. Around the roadmap, Cornerstone releases uh, updates every three months around uh, whether it's fixes or new product features and launches. And so what we're seeing and what we've been seeing over the past couple of years is around skills. Skills has been this huge focus around how organizations are addressing the world of work in the future. And there's a lot of research to back this on up, not to go into the numbers, but basically I think we've all seen how technology has changed how we work and how it has changed jobs. And so that trend keeps accelerating. And as a result of that, it's shifting how we're gonna have to, how we're gonna have to continue to change how we work in the future. That all said, skills are kind of at the center of all of that. And so as we think of how to integrate and support organizations, well, it's, it's connecting with their other systems. So top leaders can have a huge array of data to make data-driven decisions, uh, whether, whether it's around um, their workforce or their skills or the populations or maybe the new skills that don't exist yet and they need to start prepping for it because of what they're seeing on the outlook. And so it's around creating a platform that can continue adapt and grow but also making sure that it plays nicely with others. And one of our lead product managers has been quoted saying, we're not a jealous application. We're here to work and connect with everyone else. Um, so whether it's your, your core HR platform or all these other uh, unique tools for instant messaging or, or chatting or, or video conferencing to make sure that um, it all works as seamlessly as possible. And we, we uh, have a lot of significant partnerships with a lot of other um, offerings and tech tools, but if there's one that we haven't set up with, we do have the capability of connecting with pretty much anything, which is the, the huge benefit of being able to have the seamless transition. Yeah, that's all really, really fantastic that you're putting that kind of a focus on it and um, thinking about how to make it. Uh, I, I, like, I like what your leadership said. We're not a jealous application. Yeah. You know, we, we want to make this accessible to everybody. So that's that's a really great outlook. I like yeah, that. I mean, the, the honest truth is, you know, there's going to be some areas that we are extremely well on. Again, the talent management aspect, we, again, we're a global leader, but something like benefits and really understanding that, it, that's out of our scope in all honesty. So it's making sure that we can help arm a, a CLO or a CHRO with the connection between the two so that they can look at things at a holistic uh, port, uh, perspective which then yeah. now you can help support in your DEI and B initiatives and then kind of bring that full circle as, a, as well. Yeah, well, I mean, I consider myself a lifelong learner, so I absolutely love what you guys are doing. <laughs> I think, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a good skill to have to continue to learn. So, you know, that's, that's unfortunately the end of our podcast time today, but Mike, this has been fantastic to learn more about Cornerstone and to learn more about what you guys are doing over there. Um, thank you so much for your partnership and thank you for being here on the podcast with us. Real pleasure. Love to come back anytime. Of course. Uh, so now to the listener of this podcast, if you are an employer looking for an HR technology solution, whether it's payroll, an admin, time and attendance, HRIS, HCM, or even a year-round one-on-one enrollment support or a learning and, and development uh, application, we have solutions that will fit your culture and your budget. Um, our elite partners are making a difference in the HR tech world, and we're here for it. So if you have questions about the services you've heard today, please reach out to us at btrprojects at bentechree.com. You can connect with our experts there, and we'll make sure that we get information about Cornerstone to you. Thanks for viewing today's podcast and enjoy your day.